97% of the Quran teaches ethics, the relationship between God and man, the purpose of life, morality, other truths as well, this, the history of nations in the past, teaches us how to be self-critical, um, how to use reason and faith, the extreme importance of using reason and faith, teaches many, many major themes. You know what I was taught when I became a convert? Rules, rules, rules. If I hadn't studied this religion myself and entered this religion and all I received were rules, 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 I would have left it the next day. Thank God I read the Quran first. If we're going to draw these indigenous people, our own children, that second, third, and fourth generation, those converts and non-Muslims into this religion, let us begin by following the model established by God himself through his prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. As he once said to Muad bin Jebel on his way to become, uh, take the dual leadership of the community uh, in Yemen, he said, as you all well know, he said, first teach them that there is no God but God, and that Muhammad is his messenger. And when they have fully understood that, then teach them how to pray. And when they become consistent in that, and they've developed in that fully, then teach them about fasting during Ramadan. And then once they've accomplished that, then teach them what? About paying zakat and making the hajj and so forth and so on. He said, make things easy for people and do not make them difficult and inform them of the glad tidings and do not repulse them. I mean, you've all heard it before. You've all heard it before. Do we practice that here? We're trying to win these kids back over to this religion. We're trying to bring a community of people into listening to this religion. And the first thing we do is get them in that door. We tell them, okay, okay, you, cover your hair. You do this, give her the gold. Okay, don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. I don't mind. I don't mind. Telling the people what are the Muslim behaviors or, or, or whatever. But that's become our, we, we are obsessed with only that. I have attended Friday prayers for 20 years now in this country. And every Friday it's the same thing. The teachers are either political, about po Muslim politics, or they're about rules and regulations, or somebody's diatribe about you know problems going on in the Muslim community. They never discuss the other 97% of the Quran virtually never, or else it's just brief allusions to that. <clears throat> and be tolerant. When we bring people into our community, don't expect them to become Middle Easterners or, you know, Arabs or Pakistanis or Sri Lankans the next day, or ever even. <laughs> Give them time to grow into the religion. Give them the space to grow. Give them the room to grow. Give them the right to ask. Give them the right to question. Give them time to develop. The Quran gave them 13 years in Mecca. And then slowly but surely brought them along after that. We always put the cart before the horse. Give them time. If, we, if our kids come to our community not so modestly dressed, it's better that they come than not come at all. We have to start, if you know, they have this or that problem. If their behavior is not perfect from our particular perspective, it's better that they come and hear the message. It's better that they work out for themselves what it is to be a Muslim in America. Because that's the generation that's going to have to take this into the future. It's better than, for them to be among us than not to be among us. If the Prophet and his companions adopted our approach, there'd probably be no Muslims today. How about the time the man came and he urinated in the mosque in that famous Hadith report? The companions were ready to kill the guy. The report says that they already had their hands on him. How do you know? Because the report says the Prophet said, let him go. Go get some water and pour it over it. You've been sent to make things easy for people, not to make them hard. 
Let's follow the Mecca plan. Let's just give it a try. Do I think, because I've said this to you today, you're going to go out and try it? No way, Jose. But if some of you here care about your children, if some of you care about the people of America, want to bring them this message, then I beg you to give it a try. Establish a mosque, a halfway house, call it whatever you want. Make it so that people who feel shy to come to the regular mosque will come to that as they are, to hear the message and to pray even though they're not perfect, even though they may have flaws that you think you see, no matter what you see, give it, give, establish an institution where we could follow that Mecca plan. 